चलिए स्टार्ट करते हैं देखते हैं सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वीडियोस विभव शुक्ला के साथ हेलो गैस टुडे दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर द सिविल इंजीनियर व्हेन दे आर वर्किंग एट साइट दे हैव टू सी द मिनिमम परसेंटेज ऑफ स्टील फॉर द स्लैब फॉर द कॉलम एंड फॉर द बीम दे आर द थ्री मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ एनी आर स्ट्रक्चर दैट इज स्लैब followed by column followed by beams so what is the requirement of steel for your casting like slab columns beams so what is the percentage of steel required for these three different elements of rcc so in this video we will discuss about this according to according to the is we say Indian Standard IS four five six two thousand. This is a uh, uh, Indian Concrete Code for the Civil Engineering. You can say clause twenty six. This is a code book. You can see the reference twenty six. Point five. This is a clause IS four five six two thousand clause twenty six point five. You can see the minimum percentage of steel for a slab, column, and beams. So here, in short, you can see from this video and learn and feel confident of requiring percentage of steel. So if we talk about the minimum reinforcement. If we talk about the minimum reinforcement for here, if we talk about the minimum reinforcement, minimum reinforcement in case of slab, in case of slab, the mild steel reinforcement, mild. steel for the mild steel reinforcement in either direction slab shall not be less than 0.15 percentage so minimum reinforcement for mild steel in either direction slab shall not be less than 0.15 One five percentage of total total cross sectional area total cross this is cross sectional area. so this is the important point however this value can be reduced this value can be reduced to 0.12 percentage only when high strain deform bars or welded fire fabric bars are used other than the mild steels like if we use if we 415 F E five hundred type elements. So this is for the slab reinforcement. You can see. Now we will have this. Now we will come for the slab uh, for the column, the longitudinal reinforcement. longitudinal reinforcement the cross sectional area the csa csa refers for the cross sectional area shall not be less than 0.8% shall not be less than 0.8 percentage 
nor more than six percentage this is for csa cross sectional area and nor more than six percent of the gross sectional area and this is for gsa gross this is cross sectional area and this is gross sectional area of the column so for the slab and column we have discussed now we will move on to our beam structure so in beams if we talk about the tension reinforcement if we talk about the tension reinforcement in beams minimum reinforcement the minimum area of tension reinforcement shall not be less than this is followed by the equation i will write it as by bd this is as by bd equal to 0.85 by f i so now if you see this is a s by b t equivalent to 0 0.85 uh, 0 0.85 by f y so what is a s this is the minimum reinforcement of tension reinforcement this is a s and what is this b d value breadth of beam or the breadth of the web that is the T beam and and this D this B into D B uh, already find D is effective depth this is small D and this F Y is characteristic strength of reinforcement in Newton per mm square so this is all all the reinforcement and one example you can note if uh, if you want for the maximum uh, reinforcement point to be noted this shall not exceed 0 0.04 b into capital d this is for the beam only so this is the basic example you can see and this is beam tension reinforcement this is about the beam tension reinforcement now we will come out with the beams shear reinforcement so Now we will discuss uh, the beam shear reinforcement that was tension reinforcement now we will discuss the beam shear reinforcement so this value I will show you from this equation this is the AS value ASY this is divided by BS, uh, BSY This is equivalent to 0 0.4 divided by 0 0.87 Fy. So this is the whole equation for the shear reinforcement, minimum shear reinforcement in the form of stirrups that shall be provided in the form of this particular equation. So AS is uh, asy is total cross sectional area of stirrup legs effective in shear so sy what is sy sy is the stirrup spacing along the length of member and b is the breadth of the beam or the breadth of web of flanged beam and fy 
is the characteristic strength of the stirrup reinforcement in newton per mm square this value you can say newton per mm square shall not be greater than 450 newton per mm square so this is the whole complete minimum shear reinforcement for the slab for the column and for the beam we have discussed tension and shear reinforcement both in beams minimum shear reinforcement is represented by this particular equation so if you do like the video share with your friend and subscribe my channel and click the bell icon and press the bell icon to receive video notification whenever new video is uploaded on my channel thank you very much